funding for Avery Talks About Stuff was made possible in part by the YouTube AdSense program and by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, or otherwise strange content. Today, we are still traveling around the world. We are in Germany today. Hello, Germany. Um, I found a children's movie from 2014 that was based on something from the 60s uh, that looks weird, and I want to watch it with you guys today. It's called The Little Ghost, not to be confused with Little Ghost, the movie that I posted a video on previously. This kind of seems like German Casper from the little bit that I saw. It's on Tubi, so thank you again, Tubi. I'm not sponsored by Tubi, but you know what? Tubi, hit me up. You want me to rep for your weird catalog of movies? I will absolutely do that. Oh, and before we get started, this movie was originally made in German. I'm watching a version that is dubbed over in English, and the dub is... House? What's the big deal? Get down there! Interesting from the little clip that I saw, so we're going to just roll with it. Very Halloween right off the bat. A picturesque German town. The Little Ghost. Oh. I didn't know that the narration was going to read the title card to me. A little ghost resided at Eulenstein Castle. Okay. It was one of those harmless little night ghosts. So we've got a harmless little ghost that lives in the attic. Uh, uh, oh boy, the ghost looked. That's an animation choice for the ghosts, I'll say that. I'm the little ghost. The little ghost that flies at night. It's a musical. I didn't know it was a musical. Shout out to the camera operators who just had to get a bunch of plates so that animators could put this weird-looking little ghost in and pose. <laughs> so the ghost can possess things, and he possesses the suit of armor, and then he tickles the portrait lady, and she comes to life? This permanent damp darkness is really bad for my back. <sighs> Honestly, same. Do you really fail to remember how you led siege to our beautiful Olenberg three years ago? Three years ago? Three hundred years ago! Wow, that ghost can hold a grudge. But where's the sun? Alright, so the little ghost goes to talk to his owl friend, and he's like, Man, I just want to see the sun. And the owl's just like, the sun is overrated. The mere mention of the word makes my eyes hurt. It's the ghosting hour. Meanwhile, there's a little kid, Carl, who's convinced that he can see the little ghost from his house through his telescope. There has to be a way to stay awake until the next day. Pacing is doing zoomies on this movie right now. So the ghost falls asleep at one o'clock, but he only wakes up at midnight, so he only gets to be awake for an hour? That's lame. I know it's like the ghosting hour or whatever, but like, think about that practically. That's gonna suck. I do love when we cover these foreign movies where we get to kind of see the countryside of where we're actually covering the movie from. Was that a sentence? I think that was a sentence. I'm going, I'm going to, to go with my standard. My standard's going with me. What's happening? Somebody who grew up in Germany needs to tell me what's happening. Children, stay close together, all right? So the class is going on a night walk, something I've never heard of before, up to the castle. Then how will I ever manage to stay awake, huh? Who says I don't have an explanation? You sound like you know a whole lot. Naturally, I know that every ghost on Earth has its own clock that controls it. So the ghost, like every other ghost, is tied to a specific clock, and that clock determines how long he's allowed to be awake. Is that why nobody can agree on what the witching hour actually is? That's the Swedish general Thorsten Torstensson. He besieged Ullenburg 375 years ago. So the castle has a big portrait of the guy that laid siege to the castle. The ghost is going around adjusting all the clocks back, trying to get to morning. But he's scaring all of the class, so they decide to leave early. But Carl doubles back, because Carl wants to see a ghost. Ah! 
little ghost with a big set of keys. A little ghost with a big set of keys. Really? The teacher pretends that ghosts are ridiculous even though she was scared a second ago. I'm pretty sure that counts as her gaslighting him into thinking that the ghost isn't real. The next day, all the clocks are fucked up. And you're absolutely sure this display case was locked? Of course, what are you- Police now think that one of the school kids stole the watch. I bet it was the little ghost. It must have stolen the watch. Nobody believes him that a little ghost stole the watch to set it back so that he can make it to morning. Don't know why, but... Yes, we'll speak to him and call you back. Do that immediately. You have my number, ma'am. 911? Exactly. Such a stupid joke. You should never have encouraged all of this ghost nonsense. The voiceover doesn't seem to be matching the anger that the dad is feeling. <laughs> Jesus, dude, calm down. So they all go back to the castle to try to find the watch. But because the clocks have been messed with, the little ghost now gets to see morning. It's even more beautiful like this! <laughs> Oh, that steady cam shot made me a little bit car sick. There. There! The kids are like, cool, a ghost, and they chase him out of the courtyard. <laughs> What's going on? Why did it turn black? So a little ghost turns black in the sunlight? Okay. Go, go, get away! Get, get away, away from there, kids! So the firefighters show up, and none of them can get down the hole. I could go down, sir. Good! Hop up! And so they just send a random kid down there. Why did I suddenly turn black? I know they probably don't mean it any certain way, but it sounds weird. Where's Thorsten's watch? You took it, didn't you? Yes. But I put it back in the display case a while ago. So because of a wacky mix-up, the kid thinks the ghost is a liar. Wait a minute, I'm still black! Oh dear. Good. Get back into your hole right now, this very instant! So the cop thinks it's just a regular kid, and it's just like, Get back into the sewer, kid! Ah! Is our money still safe? Black unknown spies on Uhlenberg Bank! I don't feel comfortable with the way that they're calling the little ghost. The Black Unknown. Black Unknown spreading fear! Could as they have just called him a Poulter's guy. This Black Unknown is something... Well, don't look at me! It wasn't me! You cannot come to the parade. So he gets banned from the parade until he can find the watch. The headmaster and Miss Thalmeyer came to the shop. If Carl doesn't stop this ghost nonsense and the watch isn't returned, then he'll be kicked out. And now he's in danger of being expelled. This little ghost has ruined this kid's life in the matter of like a day. Ah! <laughs> Meanwhile, the little ghost is messing with the mayor. I'm a little ghost and I like to play fun jokes. He's some kind of elected official. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> oh, his back was out because of the ghost. The little ghost is sad now. He misses nighttime and the owl friend misses him. It's a whole thing. Now it's the day of the Swedish parade. <laughs> So they're having like a, a war reenactment. I've never understood war reenactments. Like, hey, let's go watch people LARP as they pretend to be part of like this brutal chilling. Yay. Also, they have the mayor cast as the guy that tried to lay siege to the village. So I think they're trying to send him a message. I think they're trying to put him in his place. Thorsten Torstensen, you're just as much of a stuck up twit as the mayor. Also, the name of the guy sounds kind of anti-Swedish, you know what I mean? Have you forgotten what you promised me that night when you begged, that's right, begged me for mercy? And then the little ghost sees the mayor dressed up as the guy and it's like, oh, I remember this, and then starts fucking with him. But where are the people of Uhlenberg to celebrate the victory? Oh, poor little guy, he just wanted to help. You've ruined our wonderful fair! Ruined our wonderful fair! <laughs> Poor little ghost says no friends. Jesus, why does it look like the owl is being waterboarded out there? Poor owl. Those Swedes are dangerous people! Back then, maybe they were, but not today. Correcting the little ghost and his xenophobia. Kind of? I don't think there's ever a time in history where Swedish people were uniform evil. I have to find the lost watch! 
So now the little ghost needs to find the watch so that he can have a friend again. It could have been the policeman that was there. Yes, yes. But no, policemen don't do things like that. This is pro-cop propaganda. Hey, Cab, I don't trust the cops. The Clockmaster! So he realizes that the Clockmaster has the clock. Shocking. And he goes to see him. Someone's playing a game here. <laughs> it's not my fault this time. This time? Was there a time when a poltergeist attacked and it was his fault? But that's the watch. Torstenson's watch, exactly. He's like, I just stole it to prove that I didn't steal it. Makes sense? So he sends Carl, the little kid, into the castle to sneak the watch back in. He takes his two friends because, of course, you take your, your crew with you when you're sneaking into a castle to return a watch that you didn't steal in the first place. Stop seeing ghosts everywhere we go. Like, I can't help it. Oh, and also he, the ghost gave the kid his magical keys that you just have to shake in front of any door and the door opens. That's how they got it, in case you were wondering. Or maybe your brain just checked out like a half hour ago like mine did. I don't know. He says to switch off the flashlight. Carl can just understand the owl somehow? He says it's because of the set of keys. Oh, because of the keys, maybe. So the owl, who is all-knowing, says that the clock that controls the little ghost is actually the giant clock the town hall clock so that's the one that needs to be adjusted so that he can wake up at the proper hour again Ugh. hans Ouch. watch out jesus careful that poor kid face planted and they're like jeez dude what's the matter with you oh this is triggering my fear of heights i don't like this ah! oh god i don't like this at all are you hurt no! It's a lot calmer than I would be. Did no one notice? No one sees the kid hanging off the clock tower. Uncle! There we go. How dare that boy touch the valuable town hall clock? That was a very unnatural sentence. I'm gonna chalk it up to translation issues. Are you crazy? You're gonna damage the clock hand! Or you could also die. Uh, oh no! Uh, oh no! no! Holy shit, dude. You can't do that with the kid dangling off of it. His poor parents are just like afraid that he's gonna just fall. This guy's like, oh, let's reset the clock hands. I'll teach you. Someone stay back! Stay away! This is one of the goofiest UVs I think we've ever covered. You already knew that every ghost has a clock? Of course. Every self respecting clockmaker knows that. Of course. You clockmakers out there, you knew that. So all I have to do now is turn back the clock a few. He's like, this idea that belonged to these three children, it's my idea now. Poor little guy sleeping in a violin case. Look, dude, I've been there. You get sleep wherever you can. Why has no one asked me for this? The mayor had a key and they didn't, didn't bother to call him. Stop this one, two, three nonsense. Stop it. I have a key. I'm all for him portraying the cops' doofuses, but leave the firefighters out of the history. I took it with me because you it You had broken. it the whole time? Gross and we man. accused <laughs> poor Carl of stealing it. Your Carl is mitigated! Ah. <gasps> I'm white again! Kid, stop! I'm white again! I'm white again! White! 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 Art of calling it the little ghost is racist. <laughs> Look, I know that they didn't mean it that way. I, I know that in 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 their brains, they probably were just like thinking about it in like a like the colors because it's a ghost, not a. Or maybe they didn't. I don't know why I'm being so charitable. Maybe I should be so charitable, but I'm just. <laughs> it sounds wrong. <laughs> it sounds bad. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm white again. I don't like that the little ghost is giving me girl defined vibes. All right. Well, that was that movie. That was interesting. That was to be quality. I will say that. That was to be quality. I don't know, man. I, what do you want me to say? Before you think I'm being overly sensitive, just remember there's a lot of like random racism that pops up in some of these kids' things. So I've got to always be on the lookout. We're not down with that here. Considering that it's just like an awkward, goofy movie that like was made in another country. It probably is just an unfortunate accident, but it's very unfortunate. <laughs> well, don't look at me. It wasn't me. 
it feels like one of those things that like you say on live stream and then go, mm, that sounded weird when I said it. I'm white again. Except this was a, a whole movie that was made and produced and multiple people looked at it and it went, nothing weird there. All right, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around. I post nonsense all the time. If you'd like to enable my nonsense, maybe consider becoming a member and getting extra perks. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Bye, guys.